हेलो दोस्तों नमस्कार आई एम जेके इन द सीरीज ऑफ कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी वी आर लर्निंग फ्रॉम डॉक्टर के मोहन सर ही वाज डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ एन सी सी बी एम नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर के मोहन सर टू इनलाइटन एस अबाउट क्योरिंग ऑफ कंक्रीट सर हम लोगों को क्योरिंग ऑफ कंक्रीट के बारे में डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन के साथ थोड़ा समझाइए सर Okay, Mr. Singh. Curing is defined as a process of maintaining the moisture and temperature conditions of concrete and allowing it to gain its full strength due to hydration reaction with water. Curing is done to control the rate and extent of moisture loss from concrete to ensure an uninterrupted hydration of cement after concrete has been placed in. Finish it its final position. If curing is not done, the water present in concrete will evaporate, which will cause shrinkage of concrete, leading to cracks and less durable structure. Curing of concrete should begin soon after initial setting time of concrete, or form work or shuttering is removed, and must continue for a reasonable period of time, as per the specified standard. For the concrete to achieve its desired strength and durability. Now, what are the objectives for curing? Let us examine that. Objectives are to achieve gain of strength in concrete, improve durability of concrete, improve serviceability by increasing abrasion resistance, improve microstructuring. Concrete. Now, duration of curing. depends on grade and type of cement desired concrete strength type and size of structure environmental and exposure conditions use of mineral admixtures use of accelerating and retarding admixtures and other factors like project project scheduling or etc etc is 456 2000 suggests that in normal conditions curing should be continued for at least 7 days from the day of placing concrete in case of opc if mineral admixtures or blended cement like ppc or psc is used curing should be continued at least for 10 days if the concrete is exposed to dry and hot weather conditions the limits may be extended for 10 days and 14 days respectively for opc and ppc or psc now i will discuss methods of curing curing methods may be divided into four categories number 1 water curing number 2 membrane curing number 3 application of heat and number 4 miscellaneous now i will discuss one by first water curing this is by far the best method of curing as it satisfies all the requirements of curing namely promotion of hydration elimination of shrinkage and absorption of the heat of hydration it is pointed out that even if the membrane method is adopted it is desirable that a certain extent of water curing is done before the concrete is covered with membranes water curing can be done in following four ways number 1 immersion number 2 ponding number 3 spraying or fogging and number 4 wet cover now immersion the pre cast concrete items are normally immersed in curing tanks for a certain duration ponding pavement slabs roof slab etc are covered under water by making small pond spraying or fogging vertical retaining wall or plaster surfaces or concrete col columns etc are cured cured by spraying water wet covering in some cases wet covering such as wet gunny bag hessian floor jute matting straw etc are wrapped to vertical surface for keeping the concrete wet for horizontal surfaces sawdust earth or sand are used as, as wet covering to keep the concrete 
in wet conditions for a longer time so that the concrete is not unduly dry to prevent hydration. Now, membrane cooling. Sometimes concrete works are carried out in places where there is acute shortage of water. The lavish application of water for water curing is not possible for reasons of economy. Curing does not mean only application of water. It means also creation of conditions for promotion of uninterrupted and progressive hydration. The quantity of water normally mixed for making concrete is more than sufficient to hydrate the cement, provided this water is not allowed to go out from the body of concrete. For this reason, concrete could be covered with membrane which will effectively seal off the evaporation of water from concrete. The idea is to obtain a continuous seal over the concrete surface by means of a firm impervious film to prevent moisture in concrete from escaping by evaporation. Some of the materials which can be used for this purpose are bituminous compounds, polyethylene or polyester film, waterproof paper, rubber compounds, etc. When waterproofing paper or polyethylene film are used as membrane, care must be taken to see that these are not punctured anywhere. Next, application of heat. The development of a strength of concrete is a function of not only time, but also that of temperature. When concrete is subjected to high temperature, it accelerates the hydration process, resulting in faster development of strength. The exposure of concrete to high temperature is done in the following manner. Number one, steam curing at ordinary pressure. Number two, steam curing at high pressure. Number three, curing by infrared radiation. And number four, electrical curing. Now, steam, steam curing is the process of accelerating the early hardening of concrete by exposing it to steam and humidity. Live steam, heating coils, electrically heated pads, or forms are used for steam curing. These types of curing system are adopted for railway sleepers, concrete blocks, pipes, manhole covers, holes, precast, pre-stressed concrete, etc. Curing by infrared has been practiced in very cold climatic regions in Russia. Electrical curing is applicable mostly to very cold climatic regions. Concrete can be cured electrically by passing an alternating current through the concrete. Now, miscellaneous methods. Calcium chloride is used either as a surface coating or as an admixture. It can be used satisfactorily as a curing medium. Calcium chloride being a salt shows affinity for moisture. The salt not only absorbs moisture from atmosphere, but also retains it at the surface. This moisture held at the surface prevents the missing water from evaporation and thereby keeps the concrete wet for a long time to promote hydration. Form work prevents escaping of moisture from the concrete, particularly in the case of beams and columns. Keeping the form work intact and sealing the joint with wax or any other sealing compound prevents the evaporation of moisture from the country. दोस्तों अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो लाइक और शेयर जरूर कीजिएगा जैसे कि जो इच्छुक इंजीनियर्स हैं एक्सपीरियंस पीपल हैं वो कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में सीख सके अगर हमारे चैनल पे अगर आप नए हैं तो सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें बेल आइकन को जरूर हिट कीजिएगा जिससे आपको लेटेस्ट अपडेट नोटिफिकेशन मिलता रहेगा हमारा मोटिवेशन बढ़ता रहेगा वीडियो देखने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद